hello and welcome to another session of Java. In this, we are going to learn about Java access modifiers. The access modifiers or inheritance modifiers set the accessibility of classes, methods and other members. Members marked as public can be reached from anywhere. If a class or its member doesn't have any modifiers, default accesses are shown. The access modifiers in Java specifies accessibility of a class, constructor, method, or data member. Java access modifiers are private, default, protected, and public. There are non-access modifiers such as static, abstract, etc., which we will learn in next sessions. This table matrix shows whether code within a class has access to the class or method depending on the accessing class location and the modifier for the access to class or class member. The private access modifier is accessible only within the class that is the same class. If any class or constructor is private, instance of that class cannot be created from outside the class. When no modifier is specified, it is default modifier applied by default. The default modifier is accessible only within the package. The protected access modifier is accessible within the package and outside the package. The protected access modifier can be applied on the data member, method and constructor but cannot be applied on the class. Public access modifier is accessible from everywhere for enabling everyone to use the functionality without any restrictions. Let us take a demo of this. In this, we are defining a class 1 which has got a variable and a method which are declared as a private. And we have we have class private demo. And in this, we are calling this class and its members. Let us try this. The code is uh, pasted here. So this score and print one, the the these are defined as private. And uh, so let us compile and see. Okay, let us save this file as private demo. Okay, let us compile this. You see it gives compilation errors. Score and print one, they, they have a private access and uh, Yes, uh, from this we cannot call them. So let, uh, let us see, let us modify this code. Let us remove the private access. Let us compile it. When we don't specify any access modifier, default is assumed. So let's compile this. Let us save. Yeah, we are good. So let us uh, run this. It's working. We are able to print uh, the variable and uh, the method output. Okay, let us mark this as protected. Let us see if it works. Save, compile it again. Let us run it. Yeah, it works. 
only the access is restricted when it is private. If you make any class constructor private, you cannot create the instance of that class from outside the class. Public access modifier we have seen in the hello world example. The public access modifier is accessible from everywhere for enabling everyone to use the functionality without any restrictions. Thanks for watching.